California Big One Earthquake, shocking aftermath of disaster revealed by expert California was rocked by a strong earthquake last night, with one expert saying the current situation in the Golden State could act as a teaser for the aftermath of the much-feared Big One. U.S. firm Pacific Gas and Electric cut off power to almost 1 million homes in California last week, with the company saying the intentional blackout was to reduce the risk of exacerbating the wildfires spreading across the southwestern state. Fires are raging in California as gusty winds fueled the blazes over the weekend. The fire began at Silmar, near Los Angeles, on Thursday October 10 and continues to blaze. Dozens of homes have been destroyed and thousands of people were under evacuation orders due to the blaze. At least three people have died because of the fire. One expert has warned that Californians should expert power outages and wildfires when the Golden State is eventually hit by the inevitable big one. Experts have for some time been warning of the big one, a huge earthquake measuring at least a magnitude 7.9. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, use, as centuries worth of tension building along the fault lines beneath California. Seismologist Lucy Jones has said following the big one, California will be ravaged by aftershocks, power outages, wildfires and disruptions to the water supply. Dr. Jones wrote on Twitter, parts of Sokol, Southern California have power outages and wildfires. Imagine all of Sokol without power and with fires, disrupt the water supply, add aftershocks and you're starting to imagine what comes after the big San Andreas earthquake. A major San Andreas earthquake is long overdue, with a recent research paper finding that eventually a massive tremor will come. After analyzing data of earthquakes over 1,000 years along the San Andreas, San Jacinto and Hayward Faults, all of which sit beneath California, the researchers said they have never seen a major earthquake hiatus lasting this long. Glenn Biasi, of the U.S. Geological Survey and co-author of the study published in Seismological Research Letters, said, we know these big faults have to carry most of the tectonic motion in California, and sooner or later they have to slip. The only questions are how they're going to let go and when. Our paper confirms that this hiatus is very improbable and it's our view that our efforts will be better spent considering explanations for this, rather than trying to bend the data to make the hiatus a statistically improbable but could happen kind of thing. We're saying, no, it's not a data problem, it's not a data choice problem, it doesn't matter how you slice this. We just have not had earthquakes that past records predict that we should have had.